guys, it's Christina here and today I'm going to do a video about first time traveling alone tips and my experiences because I have traveled alone a lot because tomorrow is my flight to Chicago and yes, I am traveling alone so I decided to make this video again because I made this about two years ago and I wanted to make another new updated version of it so let's go on with the tips and my experiences so <sighs> So the first tip is always ask the workers at the airport if you have any questions. Don't be afraid to ask them because they probably know the answer and it will probably make you feel better if you get your question answered. So always ask the people around you and don't be afraid. Number two, always, always come early for your flight because you never know if it might go early or change so it's better to be more relaxed and have a peaceful mind when you're on time and early and instead of rushing to the airport and the chances of you missing your flight so I recommend you to go to the airport early for your flight number three always be comfortable wear comfortable shoes so you can easily zip them on and off during the security line and wear comfortable clothes for your flight so you don't have to fidget around and not be comfortable while you're in long flights or even short ones because it's very, very good to be comfortable. Number four, always be prepared. Some airplanes don't have Wi-Fi, so bring a book or I like to listen to music since the flight's only two hours long. Just enjoy the view or just close your eyes and have a nice nap and just have something to do. Number five, really similar to the first one, but if you're on a plane and you need questions, like if you're kind of short and you can't really reach the top and put your luggage on top, don't be afraid to ask anyone who's tall to put them in it for you. And don't be afraid to ask the flight attendants any questions if you have them. Number six, travel light. I always, always overpack. And sometimes that cannot be good because it's very heavy and can actually reach the over limit of um, 50 pounds so you have to pay extra which is not a fun thing to do so try to pack lightly because you can buy some things where you're traveling to so that can add some extra weight when you come back home. Number seven, always always check notifications. Like last year I was sitting at the gate of my flight but I realized that no one was around there and it was really weird because I wasn't that early but I wasn't too late but no one was around and the little screen it was a different flight but it said the exact gate so I asked the person but that person didn't know us quite as well as I did so then I checked my email because my email was linked to the airplane ticket that I bought with and then I looked at the email and it said like your flight changed to this gate so go to that gate instead of this one because your flight gate changed so I was so shocked I rushed so fast to that other gate I thought I was going to miss my flight but thankfully I didn't so always check your notifications if you have an account that links to it so always check because you never know Number eight, this is a kind of funny one, but if you're traveling alone for the first time, like first time ever, remember that you put like your carry-on, like your backpack or purse in front of the seat, not under you because last time when I went, like my very like first time flying alone, I put my backpack under my seat instead of in front of the person's seat and the person behind me was like excuse me can you like put your bag in front of the seat because i'm supposed to put my bag under the seat like in front of the seat under the seat of you so can you move it and it was so embarrassing because i didn't know that i had to put my bag in front of the seat in instead of the under Huh, this is getting confusing. What under front? What? But just know that put your bag or purse in front of you, under under the front of you. So yeah. So you can learn from this video by packing lightly. Always ask questions if you're confused because there are a ton of people there to help you. So don't worry about anything and always ask the people around you. And don't freak out if you're on time and prepared. You can relax in front of the gate of your flight and just sit there until your flight comes so you're not late. And just calm, don't freak out. Just 
have a lovely time look out the window enjoy the view because it's very very pretty up in the clouds so i hope this video kind of helped for any of you that are flying alone for the first time or just traveling alone just in general i really hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a giant thumbs up and remember to have a great day today because you are an amazing beautiful person bye